Spaghetti and meatballs. That might trigger some memories for you. And you go to a restaurant, mommy and daddy order it for you, and you didn't realize that it was this much per plate. What? When you could be having it for this much. That is but cheaper. While you're here, you should order my book. You've not already? Look at how much of a good time we're having. <laughs> if you haven't ordered this, what is wrong with you? It's gone to a number one New York Times bestseller. 40% off on Amazon. The link is in the description. Go on and get it. Look at this. What, what do we open up to? A little fishy and Cubanos. Take a little nap with some Cubanos, all right? Now go on, scram. Okay, so we all know the classic spaghetti and meatballs. What, what do you think it is? It's spaghetti and meatballs, but it's not just spaghetti and meatballs. It's about the pasta, it's about the sauce, and it's about the meatballs. And there's only three main components that make up what it is. So you better believe that those three components should be perfect. In essence, they should be utterly full of flavor, and anything less than that ruins the entire dish. And yet people are sitting back and enjoying a plate of spaghetti and meatballs that's subpar when you don't even realize that you're ruining your life. Disgusting! You should be ashamed. But today we're gonna fix that. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? We've had this discussion before. Oh, Josh, is homemade pasta cheaper or is store-bought pasta cheaper? Look, here's the short answer, but kind of long. Yes, you can get your flour, your eggs, mix them together, and that dough is less expensive than buying pasta. But unless you have the buying power to get yourself a pasta roller with the spaghetti attachment, you're gonna be hard pressed for it to be very good. So if that's an issue to you, then I would advise you to go to the store on that one but it'd be a whole lot cooler if you made your own. Also, this pasta dough is in my book, not the flex, but it literally is a number one New York Times bestseller, and I know I'm plugging it, but uh, the link is in the bio. Papa, make the book for you. Anyway, let's make our big juicy balls. Great meatballs don't need to be complicated. They just need a touch of technique, some essential ingredients, and maybe an individual that gives a f about what they're doing for themselves for once. Start off with a quarter pound of ham. In this case, I use mortadella, which is slightly pricier and also not ham. I would recommend going with ham if you want to save the cash. Chop that bad boy finely and place in a medium-sized bowl. To that bowl, you'll add one pound of ground beef. Oh wow, dangly. One teaspoon of finely ground fennel seed, one and a half teaspoons of fine sea salt, three cloves of garlic that have been finely chopped, a quarter cup of fresh grated pecorino or Parmesan cheese, fresh cracked black pepper to taste. Give that a good mix to incorporate, then add half a cup of panko breadcrumbs and one whole egg. Mix it together and knead for about one minute until emulsified and tacky. Look, a good force meat like this should have a little bounce to it, almost jiggle. You know, you want that thing. Thank you. This should make 20 meatballs, so get yourself a large cookie scoop and scoop out as many chunks as you can onto a small sheet tray. I used the wrong scoop, so I ended up with 19. Good job, Josh. Anyway, roll those meaty men into nice balls. Now get yourself a large saute pan, heat that over medium high with just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. And once it's hot, hot, add all your meatballs in a single layer so it's not overcrowded and sear for about two minutes. Flip and sear on one or two more sides until you get some browning all over. Now they likely are still a little raw on the inside. That's good. We don't want them cooked all the way through yet. So stay calm. Place your balls on a plate, or the meatballs on a plate. Reduce your heat to medium. Add four cloves of thinly sliced garlic. Saute for about a minute or till fragrant. Then add one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Saute that for 30 seconds. Then add one 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Stir everything together, season to taste with salt, and just a pinch of sugar to curb its acidic qualities. Then add your meatballs, bring to a simmer over medium heat. Reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for five to eight minutes. Now, halfway through that, you're gonna add one bunch of basil that's been lightly bruised. And of course, let it continue to finish cooking until your meatballs are cooked through and the sauce is slightly reduced. Now at this point, you need to make sure that your sauce is seasoned perfectly with salt. You always need more than you think. Okay, so you got your sauced up, dare I say, bossed up balls. Now for your spaghetti. But wait, reserve about one cup of your meatball sauce to the side for extra saucing. You never know, people love to complain, so chances are they'll complain about not having an extra sauce. Wow, so thoughtful of you. Season a pot of water generously with salt and bring to a boil over medium high. Obviously, fresh noodles will cook in like 30 seconds, but if you're using store-bought, then you'll add those guys and let them cook until al dente, which is usually like 30 seconds under most of the recommended times. Once it's done, instead of draining your pasta, Papa recommends that you use tongs to pick up big bunches of pasta, letting it drain slightly and adding it to your saucy balls until all of your pasta has been added. This will incorporate some of that pasta water, which is a good thing. Matter of fact, when it's all added, maybe add a couple small splashes of extra pasta water. Now toss all that together till everything is coated evenly and beautifully. And now you're ready to serve. To serve, wind up a good portion of pasta, place it on a plate or shallow bowl, add some additional sauce for those who complain, add on at least four meatballs per plate, depending on your vibe, some additional sauce, optionally hit that with 
with some fresh grated pecorino or parmigiana, or well, more specifically for about cheaper parmesan, and finally some chiffonade fresh basil. This is a lot of pasta. So I would say this makes about five generous servings, but you could easily serve more if the portions are smaller. I actually made this a smaller serving for the sake of presentation, so expect a serving to be much larger than this, and more specifically for this price. Bro, I mean, look, if that doesn't get you going, then this tasting probably will. I didn't really think that through when I played in this. Get on over there, you funny man. This much per bowl. Come on. This is a generous bowl, but come on. This is how much is left. Dude, you paid as much for this as one little plate. So I think we should obviously try a meatball by itself. Oh my lord. Is this ball? In my mouth. I'm about to bust. We always need to do our uh, mic's a little far away. I'm just gonna, it's okay, I'll walk over. It's okay, Kendrick. It's all right. It's all right, Kendrick. Buongiorno. I want a lady in the tramp this. Somebody hold one of these balls while I kiss with the spaghetti. But cheaper or not, this is a perfect bowl of spaghetti and meatballs from top to bottom. The spaghetti cooked perfectly al dente. It's got that chew to it. The sauce a little spicy, all right, not too much. I'm tired of people doing, oh, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Why don't you just relax for a second, take a step back and realize that you should never do that. You're doing nothing. You're pretending that you like spicy. It's okay, just don't put any. This is perfect, but cheaper or not, and the price is ridiculously low. You don't even have to make your own pasta. You could be enjoying the best bowl of spaghetti and meatballs of your entire life for the cheapest you will in your entire life. What more could you possibly want? Story has been foretold, brother. You wanna know what else has Papa's red hot, saucy, meaty meatballs glistening in front of your eyes? B-roll. <laughs> Okay, so we made our spaghetti and meatballs. Let's just be honest, it was perfectly executed. It looks stunning. The sauce glistening, the balls rotund, the spaghetti perfecto. What more can I say? And for such a simple price of this much per serving, I mean, that's pretty gosh dang. Look at that. Wow, this look doing a little dance. Wow. What did we learn? Something doesn't need to be expensive to be delicious and beautiful. And that's how it always has been on this show. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. I'm gonna move the dang road. That's what it is. I'm gonna call the state and I'm gonna like, move this road somewhere else.